What is going on everybody? We're hanging out under the tank today uh, because we've got probably not long awaited update by anyone but me. So this video is for me. Anybody else who likes these helio heaters, uh, I've already done a video on, on helio heaters, so why am I doing another one? It's because this is a 500 watt rod heating element. Um, with a longer cable. So uh, anybody who's bought these and had an issue with the first production run, uh, probably, and, and also keeps their equipment, you know, longer away from the sump than uh, somebody else does, may have already run into the issue that they have cables that are too short. So they are only five foot long cables. Um, this thing is long. Uh, crazy long. Uh, so basically, uh, the guys over at Innovative Marine have been super nice. Uh, I've been talking to them since February. And hello. And um, basically, me and I guess a few other uh, purchasers, uh, they didn't realize that they were, you know, going to need these longer cables. And Innovative Marine didn't realize they're going to need these longer cables. Uh, so they didn't make it on the first run. So enough of us uh, first-time purchasers, um, we asked for uh, for the longer cables, and so here is this one. You guys may remember that I bought 400 watt, uh, the the 400 watt dual uh, rod. So that's down there. Why did I get a 500 watt? Well, I kind of undersized it for the tank for. 10 per not, not like three percent of the year there's like three days in florida that we're gonna get below the 50s and basically there's a ambi if you watch my other video 10 degrees ambient air temperature is dead ban so difference you know the range between ambient air and water volume here once it goes past that um it breaks uh the temperature so these are great 90 percent of the year or more uh, but that little little uh, bit where it's not, I need a boost. So basically I'm gonna be running this uh, by itself or this with one of the 200 watts. They can, they can mix match. I already spoke to them about it. So um, basically I'm going to also be swapping out my two uh, 200 watt heaters as well um, because basically um, let me see yeah you can see it so right here that is where um, the second mounting board that I will be putting here for all the equipment is gonna be so basically um, I know I haven't done any videos on it yet but there's gonna be two mounting boards uh, for the controller equipment one on the one side one on the other side gonna do a whole video as to how we're designing it because I think it'll be uh, pretty cool for some people who are wanting to do their own board but um but the current system is not long enough so here we go we're going to unbox here uh i already did the my own little unboxing video so uh when i have some time i'll do a separate video running some benchmarks as to uh what this heater is clocking in at on wattage wise um uh, with the apex and so that way you guys can see um, but yeah, so <clears throat> Basically uh, so sump wise we've got the um, 48 XL ice cap sump for those who are just tuning in uh, This is a pretty sizable rod. It is easily going to be fitting uh, in here so that's not a problem and um, so it's I mean it's long but it's not gonna be a problem so now how's it going to look as far as the cable length goes um, so let's go ahead and see I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this down just a little bit so bear with me here for a second guys There we go. And if it's a little off uh, off center, that's okay. 
So basically the run is, oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be sweet. This is sweet. Big props to Innovative Marine on, uh, on actually doing what the customers asked for. So, uh, here we go. Yep, this is what the run's gonna look like. Um, probably what I'm gonna do is, I'll probably run this cable right here. Yeah, you guys can see. Uh, here we go. I'll probably run the cable up this and then over and then down. So let's make sure you guys can see that properly. Okay, here we go. So yeah, basically I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. So we've got plenty, plenty of cable, um, plenty of cable for this run. So they, thank you, hi, hi. Thank you for bombing my video. Go, go away, both of you, go, 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 go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Innovative Marine uh, did a great job. They listened to their customers. Anybody who says, eh, I'm not going to buy a proprietary Innovative Marine product uh, because it's not replaceable by other uh, manufacturers. Well, I hope you don't buy Apple products. I don't, but um, because same thing right there. Their customer service has been super awesome to me um, this whole time. Super communicative. Um, let me know when this thing came in stock. And um, I mean, let's face it, guys, this is a brand new product. They just came out with it like this year, and they already are doing a modification run on this based off what customers ask for. So um, they're not paying me to do this video. I'm just happy that they actually did it for me. Um, and. Uh, and that they're going to take care of me with these uh, these smaller rods too. I don't know when they'll be ready, um, but honestly, if I need to, I can go ahead and put this one rod in um, until I do my build out here. Don't even get me started with my my carpenter guy, um, but uh, that's so far delayed at this point. But whenever I end up doing this over here, um, we'll go ahead and do the longer run. But it's it's fine now. So. Um, stay tuned, guys, for another update and what we'll be doing uh, for temperature on this and what the, the temperature draw or the uh, uh, power draw is on it. Because as you, if, if just watch the other video, you'll see these 200, uh, these 200 watt ones. They don't pull full 200 watts, so it's 400 total, and they kind of pull around 300. Um, some people are going to be like, oh, that's stupid, or it should do more, or whatever. This is what it is. That's how they designed it. Um, they, Innovative Marine said they designed it to make sure um, that they're going to last long. Um, and I do agree with some of you, though. If it says 400 watts, it should probably be 400 watts. It shouldn't be, like, maybe 100 watts less than that. So, um, yeah. But either way, this video is about this. They did their job. Um, hopefully this works when I plug it in. I'll do a video if it doesn't. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll talk soon.